All right, guys. Now that we've kind of gotten ourselves into the crucifix position and been able to latch up the side triangle, I'd like to talk about one of uh, our favorite finishes from here, which is the super murder arm breaker Kimura. I realize that's all hyphenated. It's important. So if you write it down, make sure you get the right name properly. But basically, uh, what's going to end up happening is we're going to attack the arm inside of the side triangle, uh, or the judo triangle, but we're going to have to try to circumvent the issue that we've discussed before. You run into trying to finish the kimura and the ground getting in your way. So if <clears throat> I manage to latch up this triangle, Dealey, could you scoot this way? Uh-huh. And sit, please. Thanks. And I'm like, got him. All right, cool. If there's one thing I hate, it's shoulders. And if there's two things I hate, it's shoulders and not breaking. Like, take that! And Seth can just chill out here. Why? Because I can't actually put his arms through the floor. And where I am with my, let's say with my legs, I'm going to struggle to reposition very effectively because my, my legs are occupied. Building all the way up uh, will force me to adjust my position. So we go, okay, well, what do I do from here if I actually want to finish this Kimura? Well, the answer is I'm going to swim inside with my top arm and isolate Seth's humerus. So this is a funny move as a result of that. So can you get your arm back out of there, Seth? With difficulty, right? Now my second hand is gonna come up and find his wrist. If you can snag it on your own, that's great. But if you have a free hand, because one is causing some isolation, the other one's gonna lie to grab the wrist. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take their wrist and then draw your own arm back out. How do you feel here? Terrible. This is pretty cool. So we'll show from a couple different angles. If I, right now I don't really have a fulcrum that I can use to affect Seth's, uh, Seth's arm, but when I suck my elbow out underneath of his humerus, directly underneath his elbow, now I've created the fulcrum that makes this a lever so that when I drag this sucker towards me, he's not gonna like it. And again, right now, if this ordinarily allows me, the Kimura ordinarily affords me a great deal of leverage, but me sitting on my side here or on my back, depending upon where Seth is leaning me, I don't really have any leverage over this arm. I can't hurt it even if Seth lets me. And uh, again, you're just going to find that <clears throat> the Kimura grip doesn't do anything. It's what the Kimura grip gives you. And if the Kimura grip is not providing leverage, well, then it's not much of a Kimura. So again, I shoot my arm all the way through <clears throat> with my body. As said, if we come back again, I'll reach all the way through, trap this guy, bring his arm down. And now the trick is, because I can't really hurt him right now. Again, if you yank and, and, and freak out, you know, you might be able to get a little something. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my own elbow out back towards me. And I'm going to drag his arm in the direction of his head, trying to take his arm behind his shoulder. So this is what we're doing here. This is a one arm Kimura. So rather than here, where I don't have any leverage, we're doing this. My right to Seth's left. My elbows out behind. This feels like no pressure, right? No power, right? Yeah. Even your elbow in super tight, I'm like, man, he feels strong. Bring his elbow in super tight. I can still drag him around pretty good because by expanding this arm, by extending this arm and expressing it into space, I'm creating leverage. I'm creating pressure down on the end of Seth's wrist, which is, that's the lever. And I'm creating a fulcrum with my own forearm or elbow. It kind of depends on your limb length as to how that's going to play out. But that's the basic idea. I'm trying to get this action going, which is always what we're looking for. And I'm going to take his hand as close to the back of his head as I possibly can, trying to get it behind him. So if we come back again into that side triangle, the real value of this is not that you can choke somebody. Of course, that is an actual value, but it's more that he can't go anywhere. He's, he's not going anywhere fast. I can say that much. So now if Seth locks his hands, you name it, I'm like, cool, I'll have that. I can trap it. I can trap with my elbow if he locks his hands. If his arm is further behind his head and I'm struggling, if you take this hand behind your head, and I'm like, man, I can't. I'm like, can't give me that I'll loop it up with my arm or trap it with my or trap it with my humerus. So again, between my gut and my uh, my upper arm, I'm trapping Seth's upper arm. I'll find that guy, take my own elbow out, and yank like I'm starting a lawnmower. <laughs> Please, though. Yeah, it's not really cool. Um, this is one of those, like, scary, scary, scary strong uh, moves that, uh, you know, we were sitting up late night one time just, like, you know, scratching our chin, and we came up with because we're just that smart. In reality, we stumbled onto it like everything else we ever did just by fiddling around in the room and trying to pay attention, and then you go, holy crap, I should do this sort of thing all the time. So one more go, please. Let's uh, rotate some different angles. So thanks, man. All right. So there we are. Side triangle, reach my elbow through if you lock hands. I'm not gonna yank super hard, but I got one for you. Hold super tight. Do not let me break your grip. This ain't really on the list. Hold super tight, don't let me break your grip. Oh. It's, oh, <laughs> give this a try. Do this to like a way bigger person. I'm gonna rip your hands apart if you're a 230 pound man like a little kid. It's gnarly. 
How do you feel? Uh, it feels like I don't have much <laughs> control of my arm anymore. Scared, right? Yep. This will do. It's my elbow at the end of his wrist, as opposed to my upper arm. Or as opposed to, I'm sorry, my wrist. But my upper arm, my shoulder, is now the fulcrum. Now my elbow is the fulcrum, and my wrist is the depression on the end of the lever. I mean, this works just as good, and you yank on that. And again, the real bummer is, ordinarily, Seth has a bit of plane. His shoulders can move here and there, but the side triangle is going to keep him latched in. So we're going to talk about some alternative grips that you can latch up for this one, but I'll be super gentle. If I take his arm behind his back, this is all we are looking for. If you rotate, please. Just spin this away. Nice dude. And this guy would come drawn all the way up to the back of his head, which when I get to pull, like I'm starting a lawnmower or doing sweet karate punching, um, you, you just can really, really bring the heat. So uh, that'll be that, and we'll kind of move on from there.